हेलो फ्रेंड्स दिस वीडियो इज ऑन एमसीक्यू सॉल्विंग वेरी ऑफन स्टूडेंट्स आस्क दीज क्वेश्चन रिलेटेड टू दी एमसीक्यूज दे फाइंड द एमसीक्यूज रियली देयर अचिलीज हील द वीकनेस सो दे कीप ऑन आस्किंग दीज क्वेश्चन सर विच बुक शुड आई बाय फॉर एमसीक्यूज और इवन सच क्वेश्चन दैट I don't understand the question itself while solving the MCQ, or uh, I have the knowledge, but MCQs go wrong. Even if I have the understanding of that particular topic, so let's uh, try to figure out why these things happen and uh, what should you do to increase uh, your performance in the MCQ exams. Now, uh, let's divide it into two parts. how should you prepare the mcqs uh, throughout your uh, entire year before the exam and what should be your approach during the actual exam so first things first uh, if there is lot of time for your actual exam first thing that uh, is expected is regularity you know uh, you read a topic on that day immediately solve two or three mcqs related to that topic or uh, keep some time aside only for mcqs it may be a weekend half an hour uh, maybe on the weekend about five or 10 mcqs on the topics that you have done uh, in that week so first thing that it demands is the regularity and sincerity by any book it doesn't matter all books have same content questions asked from uh, in the last 10 years exams there is hardly any difference among the books so it doesn't matter take a dedicated mcq book start solving the mcqs on a very regular basis almost on a daily basis you you have done some topic in the college uh, then uh, go back home and solve some mcqs or uh, before that just read that topic once try to understand the concept and then uh, solve the mcq so maybe it is over the weekend keep a dedicated time for mcq solving second uh, don't trust the answer key you have purchased the book you are solving the mcqs regularly but don't rely on the answer key i can tell you i have seen students who by heart the mcqs and their answer keys can you imagine that yes i have seen this happening so it is absolutely crucial that you understand the mcq itself and read the explanatory answers so uh, that concept gets crystallized that is how you should proceed further very often the answer keys are wrong while typing itself the answer key b goes uh, becomes d d becomes b and the answer keys are wrong this happens okay these are genuine errors so what you should rely on is the explanatory answers of each of those mcqs and understand the topic in the retrograde in the reverse okay you have uh, you have read the topic once then you are solving the mcq on that topic then explanatory answer and from the explanatory answer go back once again in a retrograde fashion uh and understand the topic in its entirety at the end so that will be uh, a perfect preparation for the mcq solving remember uh there is no shortcut for conceptual understanding if you haven't understood the concept then uh no matter how much you have by hearted or learned by rote it's of no use so try to take as much uh, as many concepts as possible uh during the week's time third approach during the exam or approaching the exams actual exam i would suggest uh don't solve too many mcqs uh close to the exams suppose there are only 7 days 10 days left to an exam don't solve too many mcqs uh during that time i have often seen students saying this that uh, they knew the mcq they knew the answer and yet they marked the wrong answer why is that it is because they were that 
it there was a very heavy mcq solving even one day before the exam and you know mcq means one correct option and three wrong options so a student ended up uh, retaining wrong options also and sometimes wrong option as the answer and therefore mark the wrong answer in the exam so i would suggest okay there can be a mild mcq solving as you approach the exam uh, seven days 10 days before the exam uh, but avoid uh, mcqs and mcqs and mcqs just before any exam okay it becomes uh, it be it harms more than it helps and uh, the next point is during the exam or even while preparation it will be a good idea that you read the question and don't jump on the ans options straight away first read the question try to figure out answer in your mind and then have a look at the options okay why is that it's because it's possible that uh, you know the topic and uh, once you have read the mcq the answer you know the correct answer already then only thing that remains is just watch out for the uh, i mean let's read the options and watch out for the correct answer and that will be all it will be 100% a correct answer okay so uh, always during the preparation or during the exam only read the question don't jump straight away to the options don't read the options first always try to uh, make an answer and then see whether it's there in your options given if it's there it's going to be a correct answer so uh, that is how you should approach uh, any mcq exam or even your internal exams which have a certain percentage of mcqs so uh, i'll uh, put up more such videos related to the uh, various aspects of a, a preparation and exam